Getting on the road takes work at Georgia Tech. Work and sunshine. At Georgia Tech, the students aren't just chasing the sun, they're harnessing it. Literally 14th Street, all those cars around us are like, what the heck? Lighting up a new lane on campus. This is a solar powered car. The Georgia Tech solar car turns heads. So you've probably seen it around. And powers smiles. We're trying to make it as efficient as possible. But it's not as simple as just hopping in. So this doesn't look like a normal car and it doesn't drive like one either. First of all, you gotta wear a helmet to drive it. You wear a five point harness and the gas pedal is on the wheel. There's two different brake systems and it's really small in here. It's really a surreal experience. You also sit a lot lower to the ground and you have different visibility. We don't have mirrors. Emery Stratman is at the wheel for the Georgia Tech Solar Race Car Team, a group of about 100 students who designed and built this car from the ground up. I see a lot of hard work when it comes to each individual's contribution to this project, from the electrical team, from the very early design of the aero shell to the actual nitty gritty of assembling. That effort pushing toward the future. Race team president Grant Espy's hope to move from the track to the streets. There's already being prototypes produced by companies. They, they don't look traditionally like a car. Some of them look a little bit like a dolphin, but there's a lot of progress being made on them. So, so I'm really excited to see that. This Georgia Tech solar car cost $250,000 to build. But commercial solar cars like those from Aptera and Lightyear are in development for less than $50,000. It is a really big project. As prices drop, efficiency rises. As solar panel technology gets better, we're getting closer and closer to be able to see commercial vehicles with solar panels. Cities with lots of sun, like Atlanta, will get the most mileage, but all modern solar cars come with backup batteries for cloudy days. The Georgia Tech team recently put a different solar car to the test. You're trying to make it an endurance race. Driving a thousand miles from Missouri to Nevada in a national competition. Think F1, but at like 30 miles an hour. <laughs> a bright future powered by the sun, driven by innovation. Reporting in Atlanta, Caitlin Ross, 11 Alive News.